Good morning. It's Thursday, August 11th. Uh, we want to talk about the Japanese row market today. Uh, recently in Sapporo, the uh, wholesalers and distributors held a, uh, annual, one of their annual meetings, and there was considerable discussion about uh, problems with the row market in Japan. Uh, this includes Ikura, which is salmon row, and includes Pollock row and herring row. Uh, even though there's low inventories, uh, the dealers and wholesalers were quite concerned about uh, increasing row supply, particularly on Akura, and how to uh, reinvigorate the market. Uh, Pollock row, herring row, and salmon row has been a key product in Japan, but in recent years, uh, new markets have emerged uh, for some of these products uh, in Europe, uh, particularly Eastern Europe and Russia. Uh, and this year, there was even some Bristol Bay herring row uh, that was shipped to Africa, according to these Japanese sources. In any event, uh, the Japanese dealers are saying that uh, if they can maintain uh, current price levels from last year, uh, they hope to do promotion and uh, encourage uh, more uses and more products um, from these uh, various uh, fish rows. Uh, it's an important source of uh, export revenue for Alaska, uh, with the Pollock row being especially important, uh, but salmon row and herring row being uh, important as well. Uh, and the Japanese are fearful that the large increase in Russian pink salmon production this year, which is, uh, they peg at 250,000 tons, uh, which is 50,000 tons higher than two years ago, uh, could lead to a flood of uh, low-priced uh, uh, frozen pink salmon row on the market this fall. Uh, so it looks like they have their hands full uh, developing a healthy market for row in Japan this year. In Lexington, Mass., this is John Sackton.